Hey, welcome back. And today we're having a unique conversation around unmet expectations in our marriage. Uh, we, You may have had some different unmet expectations in yours, and we sure have had a lot of unmet, unmet expectations in our marriage. Wow. In fact, um, I want to share what happened to me yesterday. It was just the craziest thing. And when I'm sharing this picture, this was my life like all the time. Um, and I allowed my feelings and emotions to really dictate like who I was. So yesterday, um, we typically eat dinner around like 4.30 to 5.30 is pretty typical. And Travis went for a walk and he had been gone for a while and I was like, well, I guess I'll go ahead and start cooking dinner. And so I started prepping everything and I felt this like little emotion pop up because normally we fix dinner together and it was coming up that he's not here to help you right now. He's out doing his own thing and I'm so embarrassed. Like it's, I feel so vulnerable sharing this. Um, you're doing great, but I was like, no, no, no. Like he needs this time. Cause I know that it's really good for him to go for a walk. And we had talked about him going and I was fine with it. So I quieted down those thoughts that were going on. And then a couple minutes will go by and I really am enjoying my time cooking by myself. Cause I was watching something on my phone and I'm enjoying me time and that little, he's still not here. He hasn't even communicated when he's coming home. And so I was like, I can send him a message. And all these different thoughts went through my head. Like, um, did you forget about us? Like, um, are you ever coming home? <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to say to you. Um, are you going to help me at all with dinner? Yeah. <laughs> Something to like, okay, so now I know that if I were to say those things, it would automatically trigger him. And it's my thing going on. He's out enjoying his walk and I'm the one that had something come up for me. And so I, again, quieted that down. And I think I sent you a message that said, when are you coming home? When are you coming home? So I was like, I'm just gonna be really factual and keep my emotions out of this. <laughs> and so you call me and this is where it got really interesting. When you called me, you were like, I am clear on the other side of the neighborhood. And I'm like, what is going through your mind? Like it is 5.30. It was, yeah. And we typically are already done eating at this point. And so I'm like, what are you doing on the clear other side of the neighborhood? And you were like, um, so it'll probably take me about 30 minutes to come home. I had dinner ready to go. The only thing I needed to do was one last thing. And I was about to pop it in the oven. And all these emotions started popping up. Like, you're not important. He doesn't care about you. I haven't eaten all day, so I was hungry. And now I'm gonna have to wait another 30 minutes. And I could just feel it like, <sighs> And then I'm like, what is going on with me right now? Because it is what it is. Yeah. It's what is so. And I can either like continue down that path of being really upset with you. And I'll share how that would normally go. Or I can choose to let it go. And just this is what is so. And I'm just going to deal with it and move on. And so um, you said, well, Another option is you could come pick me up. And I was thinking, come pick you up? Like I am in the middle of cooking dinner. <laughs> and um, and, and then, it was raining. And, and it was like raining rain. a little bit, yeah. And so we got off the phone and I'm like working through these emotions. And I was thinking through, okay, what are the facts? I have something in the oven right now that it will be done in three to five minutes. So I'll get that out. Then I can go pick him up and then we can come back and I can pop the salmon in and I have to wait a little bit longer for dinner and it's not a big deal. 
And so I go to put my shoes on and I tell Haven, hey, let's go, we're gonna go pick up daddy. And she is excited. She can't wait to go on the golf cart ride in the rain. <laughs> and so um, as I'm getting to my closet, I can just tell I want to be so mad at you. I want to be really upset. And I was thinking Which to is myself, right. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, how, how am I going to like act when I pick him up? Am I going to be excited to see him? Or am I going to be like, oh, I had to come pick you up. Yeah. And as I was putting my shoes on, I was like, what in the world is going on? let this go. And I actually said it out loud because it had gotten strong enough to the point where it was really wanting to take over and it felt good to mm. be in those emotions. Yes. Yeah. I just know that having those kind of emotions lead me down the wrong path of disconnection and loss of intimacy and loss of relationship. And then you're left feeling with like, I don't even know what I did. I thought I told you I was going for a walk. Cause here's the reality of it. It was an unmet expectation that was never communicated. I expected him to be home at some kind of a time that we did not discuss. And so how can I hold him accountable to something he never knew? He's not a mind reader, nor am I. And I had to like remind myself, I don't, there was absolutely no communication about this mm. circumstance at all. Right. None. And if I wanted something done, I should have communicated that. And you would have gladly been home by oh, yeah. any time that I asked. And so by the time I finished getting my shoes on, I was like, yeah, not worth it. Jumped in the golf cart rode down to get him and it was raining and I, it still wanted to pop up. Ugh, you're having a drive in the rain to go get him. <laughs> and Haven's just like, Wee! she's just like enjoying life. <laughs> and, and I'm like, yeah, I have got to let this go and just enjoy myself. So we went as fast as we could down that hill and we're laughing and enjoying ourselves and then picked you up and, I was like, looking at you like, yeah, you have not a clue what just went on for me. Mm. And in the past, that's the way it was. He would have no clue why I was upset. Because again, it was something I had come up for me that I was going to project onto him. And it's, it's just not fair to your spouse. And so I used to do that all the time. And not only that, it would have ruined our evening it because would. I would not, the longer I hold on to it, the more I can't get over it. it builds I up would have held of... on to that. And then I probably would have added more to it. Like, can you get your own drink or something? Like right. help me a little bit. It would have just piled on before like our whole evening would have been gone and, and I would have given you the cold shoulder and you would have been like, oh, this is miserable. How often do those lies in your head suck the joy out of your life? Man, that's what I was thinking is, I'm riding down this hill with Haven and she's full of joy, just like full spirit, just whee! And I'm like, I'm gonna be like that because this other thing is like, Wow. Yeah. And I want to be feeling free spirited and full of joy and fun. And by the time I picked you up, I was that way. Mm -hmm. And then at dinner, I was like, I just have to share what went on for me because it was the craziest thing. And so, yeah, it was a lot of work to work through that. Like I had to work at it because it would have been the easy thing for me to just go with the emotions and go with how I was feeling because I was okay in that feeling. But rather, I know it's on the other side and I know that I can experience joy and I know that I'm in control of that. Nobody else. And nobody else gets to steal my joy from me. And so I wanted to share this conversation with you guys. And um, hopefully this makes a difference for somebody out there. I know if I would have heard this a long time ago, that was a huge blind spot for me. I had no idea existed. 
And once you see something, you can't unsee it. And so I challenge you guys that if, if there is an unmet expectation that you talk about that and communicate, because remember, we're not mind readers. No, as much as we think the other person is, we're, we're not. We're not. That was great. Thank you for being vulnerable and sharing it. Unmet expectations can suck the joy out of our lives. And we have so many stories from our past about where I thought something and never shared it with you and you should have figured it out. Mm -hmm. And the same back and forth that we could share. In fact, look for one of our next videos is about a question we got on YouTube. What did you bring into the marriage from your um, upbringing and your childhood, from your parents' marriage into your own marriage and how did that affect you? So stay tuned to listen to that conversation because it's a good one. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Bye. Bye.